so good morning students uh today we will be discussing a very important topic uh, which is of 12th standard and that is about flour this is the uh, the structure or the uh, figure that you are seeing on the screen is the uh, overview of the flour we will also be discussing about its cross section now when we talk about a flour flour is basically considered to be as a sexually reproductive organ of the plant body so if we have to define flour then flour is a sexually reproductive organ of the plant all right so it is a sexually reproductive organ of the plant now a flower typically has four different types or four different uh, parts you can say all right so we will be discussing each of the parts in detail now see so i'll just first label the uh, label the parts in the overview section and then we will be talking and dealing of each of the parts in detail in individually all right so this part the very first part is considered to be as the sepals now sepals scientifically they are also called as calyx all right so this is the very first important part this is called as the second important part which is called as petals all right and petals they are called as scientifically as corolla all right now this part is considered to be as the stamens and scientifically they are called as androecium while this part which is the uh, which is the elongated part and it is elongated and present over to the stamen these are called as carpels in other terms also called as pistils so they are called as gynoecium scientifically or in technical terms they are called as gynoecium so basically there are three there are four different parts of a flower or four different whorls whorls means you can layers of the flowers that are present all right now the very important thing in all these part is that there is these two parts which you can see over here all right that means sepals and petals which you are seeing over here these are considered to be as the non reproductive parts these are non reproductive whorls whorls or layers of the flowers while stamen on the other hand is the male reproductive organ this is considered to be as the male reproductive organ while gynoecium is considered to be as the female reproductive organ so this is the female reproductive organ of the flower all right so this is just the labeling of an overview that we have seen all right now we will see about the individual section this was about the definition of the flower all right now we will see individually that how the parts actually looks like all right so let's uh, see all the things in an individual term so let's start with the individual sections 
so you can see let me just show you the inner structure of the flower so you can see that how the flower looks from the base and how the flower looks from the inside part or beneath part so this is a kind of a sunken structure a bottle like structure which is present inside it all right all right and uh, in the outside section you can see the green structure is being present all right so we will see the sections now individually so you can see that this part is considered to be as the sepals part and sepals are considered to be as the group of calyx all right now what is the function of sepals sepals are usually green in color the main important function with sepals is that that they are usually green in color all right and their function is to protect the inner layers or inner walls of the flowers so the main function of sepal is that that they are involved in the function of protection so they protect so they protect the inner walls of flowers all right so they are responsible for protecting the inner walls this is about the sepals part now we will talk about the petals part so this was about just a second this was about the uh, sepals part that we dealt with all right now let's keep the position of the sepal in its intact way now next uh, the next uh, structure that we talked about was of the petals so these structures which you can see over here see this colorful structure this colorful wings which you can see over here these are the petals part so we will just see individually that how the petals are arranged all right so you can see over here that these are the petals section these are all the petals so there are a total of four petals which are present so you can see that these are petals and petals are group of corolla these are the group of corolla now the function of petal is that you know petals they have a they are usually colorful full in nature all right so they are usually colorful except green color so apart from green color any of the colors can be there or uh, the the, uh, the uh, petals can be of any of the color so except green all right and the main function of these petals you can see is that since they are colorful so they play a very important role in the process of pollination that means they are very useful in attracting the biotic agents that means they attract insects they attract birds they attract animals so that they can come near the flower and they can carry out the process of pollination so their function is to attract biotic agents for pollination all right so this is their function so this is about the petal and its function now next we will be talking about the stamen section so let's just discuss the stamen part now let's just put all the things together now we will talk about the stamen part so i'll just draw a figure uh, nearby also so that you can have an idea that what does a stamen looks like 
So these structures which you can see over here, all these structures, these are the stamens. All right, and stamens represent the group of androecium, which is the male reproductive organ. Now, when you closely look at the structure, this goes like this. So stamen is usually consisted of two portions or two parts. One is being called as anther. The yellow part, which you can see over here, all right, is called as the anther part. So these are anther lobes. And since two lobes are present, so it is called as bilobe. All right, while this is the filament part of the stamen. So typically a stamen has two different part or it has two different portion, anther and filament. So the yellow section or the yellow part which you are seeing in number, um, in many number, that is the anther part. And the brown section which you can see over here, I'll just slice down a little bit more thing. Wait. See this part. So which you can see over here, these are the stamens part. So the yellow part is the anther lobes. This yellow part is the anther. And this part is the filament part. I have just drawn a little bigger diagram in order, to, uh, in order to make you people understand that how it actually looks like. Now the function of this anther lobe is that to produce pollen grains. All right. So the function of anther lobes is to produce pollen grains, pollen grains. So this is the case. All right, so this was about the third important word, and that is the stem and bar. Now, next we will be talking about the fourth word, which is the female reproductive organ, and that is carpal or piston. So, let's just put all the things together now. Okay, now. So next we will be talking about a very important uh, section and that will be the uh, female reproductive part. So let's just slice out first all the sections so that the female reproductive structure becomes very prominent and visible. All right. Now, this one. All right. Now let's just zoom a little bit. So that you people can understand. Now, see. So, these are the stamen part. This we know this. This section is the stamen part. So, these are the stamens. All right. Now, see. These are, this is the male reproductive organ. And we have already discussed about it. Now, our prime focus is to know about the female reproductive organ. Now, a female reproductive organ, which is the carpel. So, this is a carpel. All right. This is a carpel. Now, a carpel has usually three different parts. So, it has three different parts or sections. The first one being called as stigma. The second one called as style and the third one being called as ovary. So a carpal that represents the female reproductive organ, it has three different parts, stigma, style and ovary. ovary. Now just uh, we'll just label all the things. All right. So this portion, which you can see over here. All right. This is the stigma part, which is the first important part of the
which is the first important part of the uh, carpel. Now, this one is the style portion or the style part, which is very elongated. And you can see this style is responsible for connecting the stigma to the ovary. And finally, this portion, this borderline, which you can see over here, which is brownish in color, this is representing the very third important part and that is called ovary. All right. Now, inside ovary, you can see that prominent chambers are present, which you can see is that inside ovary, prominent chambers are being found. I'll just maximize a little bit. So prominent chambers are being found and those chambers are called as locules of the ovary. So ovary contains ovules in there. All right. So these thing or these chambers which you are seeing, they are the ovules which are present inside ovary. And where the process of an ovary is the actual site of fertilization. It is the actual site for double fertilization. Double fertilization. Now, what is double fertilization? What are the things? We will be discussing it later on. All right. Now, you can see a red lining that that is coming inside the, uh, you know, ovule section or embryo sac section. And this is being considered to be as the pollen tube. This is called as pollen tube. Now, pollen tube, the function of pollen tube is that it will carry the male gametes of the pollen grains. All right. So for the purpose of fertilization, the male and the female section that has to be brought up together. All right. So since that has to be brought up together, so this pollen tube, which you can see over here, this carries male gamete. Carries male gametes. All right. So this is about uh, the fourth important part of the uh, flower. Uh, and that is, the female reproductive organ, which is carpal, also known as pistil. So this was all about the flower and its cross section. So we have seen the overview of the flower also, and we have discussed segments, each segments of the flower also individually, all right, along with the functions of all the important components of the flower. Thank you very much.